Welcome to Dingsco FM's podcast, where we discuss individual and business growth with guests who are an expert in their field. In this episode, we focus on career growth and we discuss the unique field of film production. We'll discuss the highlights and challenges of being in this industry, and we'll even give you some advice on how you can add some special effects flair to your Halloween celebrations. Our guest today is a young career woman who's gained significant experience in the film production industry. Leslie Ann Eckstein graduated from AFTA in 2018 with a Bachelor of Arts degree in Motion Picture Medium, specializing in art direction. Soon after graduating, she joined the city of Cape Town and used her specialization on their Bridgetown Initiative for Disadvantaged Youth. Leslie Ann has worked with the SA Film Academy and many major production companies, including Moonlighting Film Production Services, Warner Brothers Entertainment, and Blue Ice Pictures. She's managed many areas on set, including costume design, special effects makeup, hair styling, and prosthetics. When she's not working, you'll find Leslie Ann going for drives in nature, taking walks on the beach, and catching up with close friends and family. Welcome to the show, Leslie Ann. Thank you, Diane. I'm very happy to be here. It's wonderful to have you here, Leslie Ann. So, your study and career path is rather unique and interesting. Can you please tell us about your interest in motion picture medium? Where did it all start? So, um, many people wouldn't say now, but as a child, I used to be very extroverted and I used to perform for my family. I thought I was going to be like a actress and I just never stopped performing. And as I got older, I became a bit more reserved and introverted and that completely changed. But my passion for the acting and the production elements that go behind the costume, makeup and how it all ties, I never lost that interest and that's how I ended up at AFTA. What was your journey like at AFTA? What was your experience as a student going through this unique field? Many people called AFTA like the Hogwarts of Cape Town because you encounter many people and learning about film and conversing with people with different opinions was really a learning curve for me because I came from a very conservative background and it was really enriching to just meet all these people with different ideas and ways of being and the theory, the practical, everything was amazing. Yeah, AFTA was probably the best experience for me in terms of education. And more recently in your career, Leslie Ann, you made the transition from full production or special effects to becoming an editor. Can you please tell us a bit more about that journey and how it's gone for you? So what actually happened was that with film, you get certain periods when it's really busy and quiet. And there was a month or two when I was at home and I decided I'm not going to wait. I'm going to try and pursue something else in the meantime. And the thing is that I did double major in writing and the costume makeup styling. So it wasn't like I was going into something that I wasn't like had an interest in or a passion for. And when the pandemic hit, I was still in that job. And thankfully, we had bosses that were able to keep us on. So I really grew with the writing as well. And I'm really grateful I got that opportunity because I don't believe you need to just focus on one avenue. You can have many avenues as well. And I kind of like that I pursued two different paths career-wise. And that's an amazing transition to make, Leslie Ann. At any stage, it's not easy to transition your career. And it's a real blessing, as you said, that you had dual avenues that you could pursue at any time, regardless of the circumstances. So in 2018-2019, you worked on multiple film and television production sets where you managed special effects, prosthetics, hair, makeup. Please tell us a bit more about that experience. What were the highlights and what were the challenges? It was like a growing pain, to be honest, but like in the best way, it was also really enriching. Best experience was probably meeting a lot of famous people on set, but like such humble people, such kind people, also really just interesting personalities in the different departments. And I definitely learned a lot about the makeup and the special effects while working, uh, learning while doing. You can do it at varsity, but with me, I actually didn't have any background in terms of the hectic prosthetics and things and I actually learned how to put it on on set and I had to be quite fast and efficient and I was really proud of myself like I could apply like professional prosthetics it was really exciting it's a different world on set but honestly I haven't had any other experiences as magical as being on set it's just like another world and definitely for people who like to socialize but also for the creative people to converse and have discourse about all the production elements 
there was something that I struggled with, which was taking things personally on set. You meet a lot of different personalities and some personalities outshine each other and can clash. And a person like me that's very reserved and introverted, I always took, you know, critical feedback as, oh, this is a jab at me. It's a really valuable lesson I learned, especially to grow as an individual that not everyone's thinking about you and not everyone's worried about feelings. They're more worried about their own feelings. And sometimes you just have to separate it. And that was one of the biggest lessons I learned. And I'm very thankful for that lesson. Another thing, it's not for everyone, but I'm quite a family orientated person. So I did find a struggle with the time and FOMO. Like I felt like I was missing out what's happening with the family because the hours are quite long. It's not all bad because in between projects, you do get breaks. But taking the editing job, I think it was more to just be closer to the family as well. At the time, I was very like critical of that and felt like I was missing out. But yeah, it differs for everyone. I love spending time with family. So that's just my personal thing. Given all the time and the hours that you've accumulated being on set and working with different production companies, what would you say is your favorite film production experience or project that you worked on? And what did you love about it? It would probably be the first project that was put on with the SA Film Academy, which was, it's a German movie production. We call the Jump Button and the Wild 13 in English. That set was one of the most interesting sets because I feel like the German people have a different work ethic to us. I kind of like that order and structure, but there are also people that, you know, when it's time to take a break, take a break, relax, but also when you work, focus and do your job properly. So I really admire that. And I had a really interesting HOD called Geo Corpus, who's worked on many films, international films. Now I really admire him, like he's really talented and me coming into the film industry and not having much experience, especially with uh, special effects, he didn't look down on me. He was very serious and helpful and he would educate me as we went along and ask me to help him on projects, which I thought was really nice. Not everyone would be as willing to teach and I really appreciate his kindness in that regard that he actually taught me and told me what he was actually doing and how he got to that point and actually making me do it with him was really cool. And also the special fix on the movie was quite exciting. I was doing a whole lot of different things, putting wigs on, masks. We also had a mermaid and we had to carry a tail and it was just like a surreal experience, but definitely the best one that I'll treasure forever. That sounds like an exquisite experience that you had on set. It would definitely be surreal to be part of something like that. So given all the experience that you've gathered on set and in the film production industry, Leslie Ann, what advice do you have for a listener who might be interested in film production and special effects as a career or maybe for their study path? I would definitely say as much as possible network. If you want to get a feel for it first, um, I would definitely recommend like joining an online group. LinkedIn's also really great for that. That's probably the biggest thing, networking. Definitely do your research. Like after there's many different schools in the actual college for different areas you can focus on and practice, especially with the special effects, like try and practice it, watch tutorials. And I'm sure whoever's interested is probably already practicing, but practice makes perfect. Also learning about the products you're using because it's different terminology as well that I was like rocket science to me when I was in college, which is in terms of the makeup consumables and cosmetics. So I would definitely recommend like just researching products. There are like special effects shops where they can help you and guide you as well. Building on the advice that you've just given potential film production and special effects students, would you also recommend that they watch films and movies or maybe deleted scenes and special features on Blu-ray discs? Would that at all be helpful? 100% because with anything behind the scenes will hear all these terms and yeah definitely like I used to do that to watch when DVDs was still a thing watch the behind the scene reels and like research the terminology they're using like online just out of curiosity and I think that really helped me as well especially understand a lot of the theory when I was studying as well. So Leslie Ann, Halloween's around the corner and many of our listeners want to add a special flair to their celebrations. Now with your special effects background, you know exactly how to create the perfect atmosphere. So what are your top special effects tips for our listeners who plan to go all out with their costumes and their decor this year? First of all, don't be afraid to be as bold as you want to. Go for the most outrageous outfit that makes you the most excited. 
so many great options and choices and you don't have to spend a lot of money you can literally go to chinatown and buy a whole lot of stuff and just make yourself look as chaotic as you want to i love dressing up i haven't been to a halloween party but for some reason i was always dressing up for casual days and stuff like even in high school like i didn't care if people laughed at me i would dress up advice i would give is if you go for something really expensive you know there's a lot of really great people that paint clothing on themselves online on instagram really creative people you can use your imagination and just create without the thought of spending too much money and i would also recommend that people research their looks and practice as well ahead of time that was a mistake i used to make is like doing the, the look on the day and not being like fully prepared so i would definitely recommend practicing and watching tutorials another tip with fake blood you can make a really quick recipe with just golden syrup chocolate sauce and red food coloring it's one of the quickest ways i've made fake blood and it also looks very realistic and the darker it looks it looks more realistic to me so yeah i know a lot of people like to add blood like regardless of the makeup look or anything so that's your quick easy blood recipe Thanks for that handy tip Leslie Ann. So as we near the end of the interview, there may be a listener who wants to get in touch with you. Either they want to chat more about the special effects and film production industry or they want to find out more about your study and career journey and get some advice. How and where can they reach you? You can reach me on LinkedIn or you can email me at les ali s dot x t e k s t e e n at gmail dot com. Or you can DM me on Instagram. My profile is cheesy lady. Excellent. So there are many ways that listeners can get in touch with you if they want to continue this conversation. Lizzy Ann, thank you so much for being our guest today. It was wonderful to have you on the show. We've learned so much from you, especially in terms of special effects and film production. Your study and career path is unique and interesting, and it's great to see how you used your success in film production to transition to a new career in editing. There's no doubt that you're going to continue to grow rapidly in your career, and I can't wait to have you back again in future to catch up on your journey. Thanks Pat and I'm really happy that I could be on this podcast with you and I just want to say like to anyone that's listening and that's undecided about what they want to pursue just follow your gut follow what gives you the good feeling like you know that makes you happy and rather follow that than follow something you're comfortable with I think that's the best thing personally for me I used to be in a shell and not feel comfortable to pursue things and I think the moment you step out and you push through is when you feel the most free and I definitely feel liberated from pursuing film and pursuing the writing and seeing where I actually fit so there's a killer song that I really like I actually want to get a tattoo of it there's a lyric that says our dreams will break the boundaries of our fears and it's something that's always stuck by me I definitely want to continue living a life where I'm getting out of my own head and focusing on what I actually want to do so yeah I hope that can encourage someone that's feeling a bit uneasy or unsure but thank you very much We hope that you enjoyed today's podcast episode. Be sure to come back regularly for more great content that focuses on personal, career, entrepreneur, and business growth. Find out more about our coaching services and get in touch with our team by following the link in our post or visit dingscoconsulting.co.za.